So you want to use iCloud, App Store, iTunes or Game Center. Then you'll need an Apple ID. That can be created in several ways. For example, when you set up your iOS device for the first time. I got a video showing how that's done and the link is in the description. But in this video, I'm going to show you how you can simply create an Apple ID on your iPhone. It works in the same way on iPad or iPod Touch. This is how to do it. Go to your settings. Tap sign in on your iPhone. Tap on don't have an Apple ID or forgot it. And tap create Apple ID. Choose your date of birth. And tap next. Enter your first and surname and tap next again. To create an Apple ID you'll need an email address. If you already have one, which is not used as an Apple ID already, you can tap use your current email address. And enter your email address. If you don't have an email address, or if it's already used as an Apple ID, you can choose get a free iCloud email address. Enter your new email address, which will also be your Apple ID. It must end with at iCloud.com, which is already typed in for you. I choose to use my existing Gmail address as my Apple ID. Choose if you want to receive Apple News to your email. Tap Next. Enter the password you want to use twice. They must match in both fields. The password must be at least 8 characters long and contain at least one lowercase letter, one uppercase letter and one digit. Tap Next. Enter your phone number. Your iPhone will assume that you want to use the number of the SIM card in the phone. If you want to use another phone number, tap Use Different Phone Number at the bottom. Otherwise, just tap Continue. Read through and confirm the terms and conditions. Enter your passcode, meaning the 4 or 6 digit code that you use to unlock your iOS device. Your Apple ID is created and you're signed in. Time to verify your email. Tap Verify Email Address. If you created a new at iCloud.com account, you won't need to do this step. Go to your email inbox, where you should have received an email with a 6 digit code. Type that code in on your iOS device. Now we are signed in on iCloud. To download apps and so on, we need to sign in on iTunes and App Store. Tap iTunes and App Store. And tap Continue. Make sure that the correct country or region is selected and agree to the terms and conditions. Tap Next. Also make sure your first and surname is correct. Choose if you want to get updates from Apple with email and tap Next. If you want to download something that costs money, you need to add a payment method. I have a whole video about that. You can find the link to it in the description. For now I'll choose None, as in no payment method. I'll still be able to download anything that is free. We still have to add a shipping address. And then tap Next. Now you're signed in on iTunes. You can tap this icon up to the right to see what Apple ID is signed in. And let's test to download an app which means open App Store, tap the magnifying glass, search for the app you want to download, I'll search for Facebook for example, tap the app, tap get, and then install. Enter your Apple ID password, as we chose earlier. The download begins. Depending on what app and how fast your internet connection is, this may take a while. Now the app is downloaded. If you push the home button and go to the home screen, we can see the app. That means we're all done and that this video will soon be finished. If you get any problem with following this guide, you can leave a comment, read Apple's own guide, which is linked in the description, or call Apple support. Link to the webpage where you can find the phone number is also in the description. If you want me to make a video about something special, please leave a comment. Also go and follow me on Instagram, Simon's Apple. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.